drifting away To see her take the hand of another man She is drifting away A part of me dies when I see it in her eyes As she drifting away I just sit and watch her city is too loud it's too smelly you know i think what i need is the countryside i think i need some peace and quiet yeah the countryside that's where i'll all go the countryside You, uh, you okay? Yeah, you okay? Yeah. I'm just waiting for the train. <laughs> Are you waiting for the train?
try and forget about it. Enjoy the trip. Remember why you're here. can't get it out of my head. Who was she? Where did she go? Why was she acting so strange? Ah, bloody hell. I came here for some peace and quiet. I just hope the train arrives. I'm starting to get a little nervous. <sighs> Jesus! Did you follow me down from the... Look, I don't know what you want, but if you need anything, I'd be more than happy to get the conductor when... Yes. What? Yes. Look, now I'm sure we can get you the help you need, but... Well, right now you're creeping me out. Be here. I'm just here to see the sights, the wonderful British countryside. Yeah, it's uh, we certainly um, you got your trees, grass, cows. It's uh, mesmerizing. Found it, mesmerizing. Found it. You know, like found it, like flipping through your mind, looking for a word. Sort of thinking out loud. You think a lot. 
you more than most. Well, we all do, don't we? There's a lot to unpack in that old mind of yours, isn't there, Sam? Well, I don't think that's particularly fair to say. I mean, we all... Sam? That is your name, isn't it? You know my name? I only met you, what, 30 minutes ago? How do you know my name? Problem? This would be the part where I'd formally introduce myself, but it seems you already know my name. I didn't quite catch yours. My name's Louise. It's a pleasure to meet you, Sam. Formally. I'd never met this girl before in my life, but we seem to connect. She kept going on about how reality often leaves a lot to the imagination. The dream world is better than real life. That's what she was repeating over and over again. If you ask me, she was making no bloody sense, but she seemed to enjoy it. For some reason or another, she was obsessed with the idea of dreaming, and dreams in general. It's like she knew, she knew that I needed to fall into a dreamscape. You should sleep, Sam. Pardon me? By the looks of it, you need it. Desperately. I, uh... I don't know what you're... I don't know what you're talking about. Falling asleep Getting some rest Closing my eyes Send me. Where did it go? I just don't seem to know. It was so rare. A gift we put elsewhere. White rose, my joy. Thank you. 
scary though. I'm not too sure if I like it. It's like that girl on the train is forcing me to understand things about myself. It's bizarre, but it's still wonderful. I think that's obvious, isn't it? Well, of course I can see that you bloody look like me, but you can't be me, can you? How can I explain that one away? I mean, look at you. You're the spit of me. You're very clean, aren't you? You're a very clean old man. Well, I can confirm, after a lengthy conversation with myself, yep, I'm stuck in my own head, all right. I don't know anyone else who would drop a Beatles reference in like that. I truly, truly don't. I don't know what's happening to me. You know, I really don't know if I'm ever going to escape. It seems that I've been dreaming now for so long. 
but at the same time, no time at all. It's like in every dream, I'm always chasing someone. I'm always following a figment. It's strange. It's bizarre. It's magical. It's mystical. And it's certainly a trip, I'll tell you that much. Right. I just reckon, if I can keep my head down, play it cool, I won't see any more... Oh, Jesus. Another one. Another goddamn ghost. You know, I really am getting tired of chasing these people around. It's very tiresome. Trust me. But, I think this time... Yeah, I think this time, I want answers. I want something a little bit more concrete. I really kind of just want to know how to get out of here. I want to know how to get back to my family. I want to know if I'm ever going to give my mum and my dad a hug ever again. I can't tell myself. I need him to tell me. I need him to give me some answers. But he's leading me somewhere. Always leading me somewhere. Where this time? I just don't know.
Stop. 